Hey, what's up everybody? Steven here, aka Wild Eye Guy 85. Not Wild Guy like in the last video, though a little bit, a little bit. Anyway, this video is going to be a unboxing. Uh, Wild Eye releases sent me a whole box of movies here, which I'm looking forward to see what I got, and I'll definitely be reviewing them all. Um, I went ahead and I cut it open, but I didn't go through it yet. So we'll go through it together and see what's inside. So I'm going to flip it over. As you can see, I cut open the box. There's Wild Eye releasing. I open it up here. And they got... All right, my favorite. Bunch of paper. All right. Uh, looks like a little bag of some stuff there I'll open up next. Uh, first one is Asylum of Darkness, which I've heard of this one. I haven't watched it yet. Oh, Tiffany Shepis is in it. Great. I, there's the back. Look into the face of insanity. After awakening in a mental asylum, a patient plans his escape to freedom while fighting off supernatural force in both the real world and some that may only be inside his head. But once on the outside, he learns that the life awaiting him is more twisted and dangerous than anything he could conjure in his mind, one that is luring him back to the asylum forever. Starring genre icons Richard Hatch, Battlestar Galactica, Tim Thomerson, Near Dark, Trancers, Air America, and Tiffany Shepis, Sharknado's and Tales of Halloween. It includes deleted scenes, frame lines, feature, featurette, and trailers. So this looks like it'll be a good one. Looking forward to that. <laughs> I've seen it. It's been a while, and I don't own it. But they sent me a Blu-ray of The, Vol the Velosa Pasture, A Man of the Claw. Super cheesy, but really funny. I'll have to rewatch it. Uh, bonus features include commentary track, gag reel, Texas Frightmare cast and crew Q&A, New York City Q&A, closed captions, and trailers. So I'm looking forward to checking that out. Next we got Sleepless Nights, which I actually did on the last day of Wild Eye Week. So that was a good one. I did a review on this already, but I'm glad to actually own a physical copy because, I, I, like I said, I want to um, add these to my collection. Uh, legendary underground director Todd Sheets, Bonehill Road, Goblin, Zombie Bloodbath, invites you into a gore-soaked netherworld of nocturnal suffering as he presents four spine-ripping tales of madness. Possession and despair from the independent horror world, so lie back, switch the lights off, and get ready for some very disturbing dreams. Bonus feature um, and includes trailers. Next we got... Darkest... Day, pray for night. I think this was the zombie one or vampire one. I think I think it's the zombie one. Yeah, the infection has evolved. A young man named Dan wakes up on a beach with no memory of how he got there. He soon discovers an empty city ravaged by deadly virus of those infected attacking attacking anything in their path. After befriending a small group of survivors, it becomes clear that the army is hunting Dan down for biological secret he carries inside him. The group is forced on a dangerous journey to f freedom through the city, fighting both the infected and the military to survive. Bonus features include commentary track and trailers. Another good one. Um, I haven't done a review on it. I've seen it. Uh, it's been a while, but I'll have to watch these for a little refresher. My Little Sister, One Wrong Turn, and The Terror Begins. Evil wears many faces. A group of friends go against all warnings not to camp in the local woods where a legendary monster named Little Sister is rumored to exist. As they defy any advice, one by one they soon fall victim to the urban legend come to life and his bizarre family of the deranged. Bonus features include cast interviews, behind the scenes featurette, music video, and trailers. Yes, I'm so glad they sent this one. I've watched it. Haven't done a review on it, but glad to own it. Girls just want to have blood. I'm a big vampire fan, so this was a good one. Thank you. Being a teenager sucks. 
Don't ever invite them inside. When social outcast Jessica is accepted into a trio of teenage vampires, she finds herself thrust into a nocturnal world of murder, drugs, and all-night parties as they stalk the patrons of local bars and clubs. Meanwhile, a mysterious foreign vampire hunter searches the underworld in hopes of putting a stake right through their plan to party forever. Bonus features include director commentary, preacher... Ketterson infomercial, short film, music video, and trailers. <laughs> oh boy, a Ouija shark. I'm going to have to give this one another watch. I might have not been in the mood for the first time. I did a review on this on my original channel. Uh, a Ouija shark. But again, like I said, after seeing Zombies or Bigfoot vs. Zombies, this was quite the classic. Um, from the studio that brought you the Velocipasture and the director of Jurassic Shark. And insane and fun as the title suggests. Maybe you love precisely this kind of cheese. We all do sometimes. Well, I, I do admit the funniest part was when that shark was getting high when the girl was smoking, as you can see on the back. That was pretty funny. A group of teenage girls summon an ancient man-eating shark after messing with a spirit board that washes up on the beach. An occult specialist must enter the shark's realm to rid this world of deadly spirit ghost once and for all. Bonus features, trailers, chapter selection. All right, next one we got Life Form, which I've heard mixed things about this. I've heard good and bad reviews. Um, so I guess I'll just have to check it out for myself. Uh, the cover art's awesome. Kind of looks like a combination of uh, species and splice. Sometimes Beauty is the Beast. Dark and Ted's Creature Feature. After his wife suffers a brain trauma, a man uses experimental stem cells to bring her back to life with deadly results. When she is transformed into a shape-shifting creature who goes on a murderous rampage and must be hunted down in a secret laboratory complex. But when science and primal bloodlust collide, the results are very hard to kill. Uh, it's got chapter selection, closed captions, and trailers. Let's see. Got Clownado, which I already own, but that's okay. I'll maybe uh, give this away in a contest or trade or something, but uh, this is really good. I enjoyed this one. Uh, I haven't done a review on it yet, but I will. Uh, so many Wild Eye movies I've come across that I want to watch and review. Uh Clownado, it's got Joel D. Wincoop, Eileen Dietz, Lena Quigley, John O'Hare, and Rachel Wagon. Oh, sorry if I said that is any of those names wrong, but there's the back. This was definitely a fun one to watch. Clownado will give you nightmares you didn't even know were possible. Sci-fi wire. Uh, bonus features, commentary track, behind the scenes. The Human Hurricane featurette, closed captions, si um, scene selection, and trailers. There's no shelter from the storm. A troop of murderous circus clowns are trapped in a tornado by witches spell and travel the Midwest destroying everything and everyone in their path while seeking revenge on the woman who imprisoned them. So it's got a commentary track, behind the scenes, closed captions, and trailers. And last one here we got... Model Hunger with Lynn Lowry and another one with Tiffany Sheppis. Revenge is a dish. Here's the back. What is Ginny doing in the basement? Lynn Lowry gives a career best, it says turn. It's got director's commentary, deleted scenes, music video, uh, interview. Uh, let's see. Bay Bet Bombshell Short. I'm not sure what that is. Easter Egg. Uh, the directorial debut of horror icon Debbie Rockin is unsettling, dark humored cr critique of the entertainment business as if John Waters directed the Chainsaw Massacre. Former model and actress Ginny Lynn Lowry had been cast aside by the modeling industry when she was a young woman due to her body type. And she didn't take the rejection well. When new neighbors Debbie and Sal move in, they begin to notice strange things happening at Ginny's as the last, uh, as the list of local missing young women begins to grow. And Ginny shares her culinary delights with all her neighbors. All right. So that's uh, quite a haul there. We got one, two, three, four, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten movies to review. So I'll definitely be getting those up. Uh, sorry, you're looking at the box there as I'm talking. Uh, so those are the movies. Now I got a little Ziploc bag here of some uh, st a little uh, swag bag that they sent. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got here. And they taped it besides, uh, well, let me set the phone down a second here. Again, you need both hands. It's taped pretty good there. I'll just go ahead and rip it open. All right. I've seen people do some unbox of these. These are uh, little wild eye uh, headphones. I like that case. It's got the wild eye logo on there. And I don't think the earbuds had the Wild Eye logo, but that's a pretty cool case. Let's see here. Unravel them there. So, yeah, little nice earbuds I can use. So, there we go. Got those. I'll put those back in there. Probably shouldn't even take them out right now, but that's all right. But, yeah, I like the case that they're in. <laughs> and, of course... Perfect timing for a uh, Wild Eye COVID mask. Yeah, I'll definitely wear this to work here. Not that I need it around the house, but uh, yeah, there we go. Let's see what else we got here. Got some stickers, which are cool. I uh, hope to start maybe collecting some of these. These are nice. We got Rage of the Mummy. Hawaiian Ghost Stories. I guess that might be something new that's coming out. I haven't heard of that one. So I would love to review that one. That looks really interesting. Creature from Cannibal Creek. That sounds like another good one. A Ouija Mummy. We got... Like Animator. I guess like... Bride of the Reanimator, but with werewolves, lichens. Like, I'm probably saying that wrong, but that's a cool one. And then we got the Wild Eye logo. All right. So, wow, this video is kind of long, <laughs> almost 13 minutes, but uh, I appreciate it. Thank you very much, and uh, I'll be definitely doing these uh, reviews up soon, and hopefully I can do this again for you guys. Uh, this is great. I really appreciate it. Um, Wild Eye is definitely the place to get independent horror movies. Check them out. Um, I'll put the link down to their website below in the video. And that's it. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. And I'll see you next time.